Hey you all once again welcome back to my channel how are you students i hope you all are doing well and you all are watching my video lessons regularly yes so students let's begin with our today's video lesson but before beginning with the video lesson you have to do three things for me you have to like the video you have to subscribe to my channel and you have to share my video lessons with your friends and classmates all right so let's get started students in the recent video lesson of this chapter we have already learned about conjunctions and its different types right so the objective of this video lesson is to make you understand about subordinating conjunctions and correlative conjunctions so let's begin with the video lesson now students before coming to the concept of subordinating conjunctions here i would like to inform you all that it's very important to understand independent clause and dependent clause first okay because in this chapter we have to refer to dependent clause and independent clause a lot many times right so for this you must be knowing about the difference in both of these sentences so that it will become easier for you people to understand the concept of subordinating conjunctions and correlative conjunctions okay so let's understand the concept of independent sentences and dependent sentences okay so students what is an independent clause c an independent clause or sentence is that sentence which stands alone and is complete in itself so it doesn't require any other kind of sentence to complete it so beta mostly you will see these kind of sentences are having subject object helping verb and whatever you want to convey you can easily convey through the sentence let's see this with the help of an example i have been teaching english since 5 years full stop so this is what i wanted to say i have been teaching english since 5 years can you see my sentence is already complete right i do not need any other sentence to complete it let's see the second sentence my father is reading a newspaper full stop students here also whatever i wanted to convey i have already conveyed through this sentence okay so this is a complete sentence it is not dependent on any other sentence to complete it right so it means this is my independent sentence okay it is complete in itself clear now let's move to the dependent clause or dependent sentence so students what is a dependent clause c a dependent clause is that sentence which requires other clause to complete it it means without the help of the second sentence it cannot be completed okay so students most of the time you will see these kind of sentences will be incomplete if we will not add the other sentence to it okay let's try to see this with the help of an example if it rains we will stay indoors full stop so students can you see my sentence begins from if if it rains comma now if i will not add this second clause that is we will stay indoors if i will not add this clause to the sentence my sentence will remain incomplete right so in order to complete my sentence i have to add the second clause as well so that my sentence will become complete okay i hope you are understanding this concept most of the time you will see dependent clauses always contains a comma in between okay and we add second clause as well to complete it because these are kind of dependent they are dependent on the second sentence to complete them okay let's see the second example unless he will forgive me i will not go home so can you see unless he will forgive me then what i have to tell the next part as well because if i will not tell the next part my sentence will not be completed okay so students i hope that this is clear to you all now when we have understood about independent clause and dependent clause let's try to understand about subordinating conjunctions okay 
Students, what are subordinating conjunctions and why do we use it? Do you know why do we use subordinating conjunctions? Yes. So, see, subordinating conjunction is used to join an independent clause with a dependent clause. Students, always remember that when we talk about coordinating conjunctions, please, I am repeating myself, whenever we talk about coordinating conjunctions, we should understand that they are used to join independent clauses. But students, whenever we talk about subordinating conjunctions, they are used to join an independent clause. It means a complete sentence with a dependent clause. It means with an incomplete sentence because dependent sentences are those sentences which require other sentences to complete them. Okay. And this will be more clearer with the help of example. So, there are different subordinating conjunctions like when, who, because, till, since, so that, unless, if, etc. So, now we will try to understand these with the help of few examples. Okay. Students, let's see this example. We eat so that we may live. Now, if I'll ask you, why do we eat? What is the purpose? What is the reason that we eat? So, what you will say? We eat so that we may live. So, without the second clause, my sentence cannot be completed. Okay. So, here, so that we have used as a subordinating conjunction. Okay. Now, let's see the second example. I have taught her since she was 10 years old. So, students, what is the subordinating conjunction in this sentence? What is that one thing which is connecting the two sentences together? Yes, here we have used since as a subordinating conjunction. Okay, I have taught her since she was 10 years old. Now, let's see the third example. Unless you do your homework, you cannot go out to play. So, here, what is the subordinating conjunction which we have used? Yes, unless. So, unless you do your homework, comma. Now, after this, if I will not add this second clause, it means if I will not add this second sentence, my sentence will not be completed. Okay, you will also ask me, ma'am, please tell what's next. In order to complete the sentence, I have to tell you the condition. Unless you do your homework, you cannot go out to play. Right? Let's see this one. When the bell rang, Dhruv ran to open the door. So, in this sentence also, I have two different clauses. Okay. When the bell rang. Now, what after it? I have to tell in order to complete my sentence. When the bell rang, what happened? Dhruv ran to open the door. Correct? Now, let's see the last example. Although they tried their best, comma, they didn't succeed. Students, here we have used although in the beginning of the sentence. So, here we have used this subordinating conjunction in the beginning of the sentence. Okay. So, although they tried their best. What next? I have to tell you in order to complete the sentence. Right. Otherwise, my sentence will not be completed. So, although they tried their best, comma, they didn't succeed. Clear? So, students, we have already discussed all these concepts in the online class as well. And I hope you have done the exercises so that it will be more clearer to you people that how we can use subordinating conjunctions. Yes. Now, let's understand about correlative conjunctions. Students, what are correlative conjunctions? See, correlative conjunctions are those kind of conjunctions which are used in pair. Okay, so these are pair of conjunctions that help 
to join two balance clauses phrases or words so students always make sure that whenever we talk about correlative conjunctions we always use them in pair okay we cannot use them separately so we have different examples like both and either or neither nor no sooner than whether but also not only so students we will try to understand this with the help of certain examples let's see this example both karan and cyrus enjoyed the film full stop students here how i have used correlative conjunction see i have used pair of both and and okay i have used like both karan and cyrus enjoyed the film so students here we have used two things but in a pair we have used both also we have used and also okay now let's see the second example his grandfather could neither read nor write so here which is correlative conjunction yes we have the another pair that is neither nor his grandfather could neither read nor write so here also we have used it in a form of a pair correct now let's see some other examples now let's see this one i am not only going to the concert but also meeting the band backstage full stop try to understand the sentence i am not only going to the concert but also meeting the band backstage so students here also i have used another pair of correlative conjunctions and what is that not only but also are you understanding although i have used these in pair but at different places i am not only going to the concert but also meeting the band backstage so this is how i am joining my sentences together by using a correlative conjunction okay now let's see one last example either monica will bring drinks or she will bring brownies full stop students are you noting that without the second pair sentence seems incomplete isn't it so i have to use them in a pair in order to make my sentence complete and meaningful isn't it let's see this one either monica will bring drinks or she will bring brownies full stop so this is my complete sentence so students if you will practice your grammar exercises you will easily understand all this concept better right so we have already completed this chapter here itself so students please make sure that complete your notes and exercises in the grammar book okay so students that's it for today's class i hope you have understood the content well so now i'll meet you all in the next video lesson till then you take care of yourselves and you keep on completing your work and yes students before going make sure you hit the like button you subscribe to my channel and you share my video lessons with your friends and classmates all right goodbye take care